Hello, everybody, Facebook land. I'm going to connect on Instagram real quick, too. I'm experimenting with this. I've never done both before, so we'll see. Hello. Okay, so I'm on both Instagram and Facebook. Let me make sure I'm on both of these. Um, so I didn't know how I was going to fit in doing both Facebook Lives and Instagram Lives, and then I saw... Um, someone else that I follow do both at once, one on the computer, one on the phone. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I can do that. Um, so hi, everybody in both Instagram and Facebook land. Um, I'm also going to upload this to YouTube later. Um, but I just decided out of the blue, I'm going to do a video today um, because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Who else is exhausted? Because I know that I'm really tired today. Um, I posted a picture earlier of my lovely, um, you know, circles underneath my eyes, and I know that I have friends who can relate to that. Um, I have an eight-month-old who was up last night. Um, she had peed through her diaper, and um, so I woke up at 3.30 and was like, oh, great, the bed's all wet, and you're all wet, so let's go change you. And in the process of changing her, she woke up. She was awake. She was awake for, I don't know, at least another hour or so after that, and then I couldn't fall asleep after that. Um, and so I'm exhausted <laughs> and, um, Wednesday is our karate day. And so we went to karate this morning. We're a part of a really cool homeschool karate group, which I'm really thankful for. Um, so we have to be there, you know, we don't have to leave super early. We have to leave around nine o'clock in the morning. Um, which still means I have to be up and out of bed by 7.30 in order to get everybody breakfast and get myself breakfast and get myself dressed and all that fun stuff. Um, and so no sleeping in because I do have big kids. By big, I mean my oldest is nine, so they're not super big, but um, big enough to where they can get breakfast by themselves and watch TV or something if I sleep in with the baby. So I did not have the opportunity this morning. <laughs> um so, which, by the way, if I get interrupted and the baby starts talking or crying or whatever, I only warned one kid that I was doing a video right now. So, the other one could come barging in at any moment or a dog barking needing to come in or something because that's just life right now. Um, so, yeah. So, we were supposed to have a packed day today. We went to karate this morning. We went to the chiropractor after karate. I came home. Uh, we were supposed to eat lunch. We were supposed to go to the beach. And then we're supposed to go out to dinner tonight. I had promised my kids that we'd go to a special love breakfast for dinner. We'll go out to a restaurant tonight for breakfast. Um, and so pack day. Like, I was already dreading it yesterday. Um, just because I knew that we were not going to be home. We were gone, 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 gone all day long. So I was literally dreading it all day yesterday. And... Um, then after, you know, being up half of the night and not really sleeping well, even once I did get back to sleep... I, I said, no, this isn't going to happen. We are not going to have this day. So we went to karate this morning. We went to the chiropractor. We came home and I said, no, we're not going to the beach. We're not, we're not going to the beach. I'm going to be the mean mom today. We're not going. And guess what happened? Nobody died. They said, okay, can we go play with the friends down the street? Yes. Yes, you may. You may go play. <laughs> You may get out of this house and you may go play. Nobody threw a fit. Nobody died. And I said no. And it was okay. So I think that sometimes we need to give ourselves some grace and allow us to say no when we don't feel like doing something. Because sometimes we feel like we need to do it all because we're mom, right? We got to do everything. We got to make our kids happy. We got to go out there and do stuff. And no. <laughs> Did you see my coffee cup that I posted before this? So right before this, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes before, which isn't this a cute mug? I got it from Disney World. Isn't it adorable? It's just a lot different parks. Anyway, because Disney World, you're welcome. I just gave you a plug. Because, <laughs> um, you know, they have so much trouble making money at Disney World. Um, but yeah, I posted a picture of an empty cup maybe 10 minutes ago when I decided, I'm going to go live. I'm going to talk about this. Because who does not want to talk about saying no to your children, right? So I posted my empty cup. I cannot run on this empty cup. My cup needs to be full for me to run and take my kids places like the beach. Because what does the beach entail? It entails going to the beach, which, you know, getting everyone ready. Putting sunscreen on your five-year-old's face when they're freaking out because they don't want sunscreen by their eyes. It entails being at the beach and having your eight-month-old eat a pound of sand. 
It entails having your nine-year-old complain because you have rules about not going out too far because we live at the Atlantic Ocean. So, you know, not waves like the Pacific. We used to live there, so that used to really scare the heck out of me <laughs> when they were at the beach out there because the waves were taller than I was. But I have rules. I'm not an awesome swimmer. I'm holding a baby at the beach. I cannot run out there and save you if a wave, you know, if a riptide comes and gets you. So no, you may not go out to your shoulders and have the waves crash over your head. I'm sorry. So then there's that fight at the beach. And then there's coming home. So when you come home from the beach, you have to get everyone in the shower, including yourself and the baby, get um, all of the sand out of the shower. <laughs> All right, and then we've got to sweep up the trail going from the front the door up the stairs to the bathrooms where everyone just walked and trailed all of the sand. So I'd have to do this before we could then go for our pancake dinner. <laughs> so that was really where I knew I would lose my pool. I would lose it. Hi guys joining me. Thank you for joining me, Danielle and Homeschool Farmer. I need to learn your name because I know that we've been talking back and forth on Instagram a little bit. And hi, Lauren, over on Facebook land. Um, I'm new to this live step, so I forget to stop and say hi to my friends who are joining me. <laughs> but I chose to say no. I did not want to lose my cool and yell at my kids because we went and had a day that I could not tolerate today. I could not tolerate it. We would have come home from the beach. I would have probably fine at the beach. We would have come home from the beach and I would have lost it. I would have yelled at them. I would have gotten frustrated with them. I would have just lost my mind because my full capacity is not there. When I'm tired, I have no patience. I can't do it, right? So I said, no, my cup is empty today. I can not do more than what I have available in my cup because it is not fair to me because I don't like feeling that way. I don't like feeling frustrated and I don't like yelling and I don't, I don't like feeling that way. But my kids don't deserve me feeling that way either. And they're just as happy staying home today and playing outside with their friends than going to the beach and seeing their friends there. We had to just say, no, my cup is empty, okay? So a scripture that I like that kind of went with my empty cup is actually about a full cup because that's, you know, what we can find in Jesus is having our full cup because I can't fill this on my own. I need his help to fill it. So Psalm 23, five, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, with oil my cup overflows. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my cup overflowing. I want to do something with it. I might make a printable. I might do something cool with it, but my computer's about to die. This is how prepared I am <laughs> for this live chat going on right now is I've got 5% left on my computer. So, <laughs> um, but I want to do something with that. My cup overflows. That's the thing that is going out of there because my cup is empty today because I did not get sleep. But you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. I can go to bed early tonight. I can make sure that, you know, I don't completely stuff myself full of just pancakes tonight. I can make somewhat healthy choices at my dinner tonight so that I don't have that sugar ration crash. And I can make sure that tomorrow my cup is overflowing. Tomorrow I can make sure I can give my kids the day that they wanted to have. And tomorrow we get that fresh sleep. So... I think that's it for today. I think that's all. I think I'm going to stop there. So don't feel bad saying no because no one will die when you say no. People will probably thrive when you say no. So um, I'll have this up on my website, uh, www.thisbitoflife.com. And um, I'm also going to put it up over on YouTube. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> um, I'm going to have this over on YouTube. I just made a YouTube page like this week because y'all know I'm a brand new blogger. <laughs> So it is, you know, one day at a time of making new things. And I have, uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can subscribe to me through my website um, and keep up to date with my blog posts and everything. And I super appreciate all you guys. Um, so, you know, you'll see more of me. I'm going to try to do lives, I think, once a week. So, and my whole plan that I have for tomorrow, I think I'm going to see for next week now. Because <laughs> I don't think you guys want to see me two days in a row, do you? So anyway. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.